in recent uh, 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 Texas. They were warned of flooding. What me? This is my house. Oh, this is God's house. I got sense enough that if I'm giving a warning, I'm gonna take heed to it. I ain't that crazy. I ain't, I ain't that crazy. Apostle Bruce, I ain't that crazy. And you think about Japan. Floats. I never thought in all my years I would see a whole country floating down the ocean. It's like, where is Japan? At least that part of it anyway. It's floating on down and now it's reaching the coast of America. Volcanic eruptions all over the place. So many, I can't even number. Mudslides. Plain disaster. And the word of God is saying, caution. God, take caution. Find an hour that you think not. A son of man shall appear. Be watchful, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, walked to and fro throughout this earth, seeking whom he may devour. And I will never be. I, I, I promise you, I, I, I'm, 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 go, I'm, I'm running through here. But there are some things the Holy Spirit impressed upon my heart to bring to the forefront. He says, when you walk in your divine authority, your apostolic assignment, this will include walking in the Spirit. He said, because if you walk in the fear, you, Spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk it in discernment. Walk it in authority. Walk it in your dominion that he has given you. Walking in the revelatory knowledge of the Son of the Living God, and it brings me to to, to mind what Peter said. He said, "Who do men say that I the Son of Man am?" He said, "Some say, some say, but who do you say I am?" And then he gets this revelation: "Thou art the Christos; you're the Anointed One." He said, "Flesh and blood didn't." Re Deal that to you, Peter. But my Father in heaven, he said, and I decree and declare unto you that upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. That means you come on, give God praise. Right there. He said, you that rock. You that little rock. That's that Peter right there. You that little bitty rock. But upon this rock, the revelation of who I am, Sadducees and Pharisees. He said, Y'all good quits. He didn't call me. I'm not calling him that. I said, He called him that because he want, what he wants for his people is to know him, to have a tangible relationship with him. Yes. That you won't have to go off of what yes. I say. Yes. You will know for yourselves. Now, God used his and his apostles, and his evangelists, his pastors, and his teachers. We are his mouth. And when you hear us, you're hearing us. You're reading. I tell you what you asked that rich man that went to hell. Right now. 
Send somebody going like that. He said they got their apostles and the prophets. Let them hear them. So God is talking. He's talking to us tonight. Discern the thing discerning of what's happening around. Amen. Let's go to. I'm gonna take a couple more scriptures. I'm gonna close it out because see, I, I, I've been preaching long enough, 30 years, to know that you can't tell it all at right. like one time. Yeah. I'm trying to squeeze a quarter of the height that ain't gonna never happen. <laughs> so I have to save some, some more if Pastor Bruce invite me back and don't run me out of the pulpit today. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Drop down to, we're still in uh, verse 16 in uh, Matthew. When Jesus, um, let's not drop, yeah, I'm going to go to 14. They say, and they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias and others, Jeremiah and others, the prophets. And he said, but who do you say that I am? And Peter asked, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Drop down to verse 22, it said, Peter took him and began to rebuke Jesus. And Jesus started telling him that he must die and go to the cross. He said, uh-uh, be it far from me, because it's not going to happen to you. Now, this is the catch right here in 23. But he turned and said to Peter, get thee behind me. He said to Peter, get thee behind me, say He said, well, was Peter saying no? It was Satan using him at that moment to discourage Jesus from going to that cross for you and, and doing what he needed to To put love and void his death, burial, and resurrection. But I'm here to declare to you today, he got up and we're going to get up too. You're going to get up out here. Go to first, uh, go to Luke chapter 5. And then we're going to roll this roll this thing on in. And then, and still, when Jesus came out of the wilderness, yeah. after being tempted of the devil for 40 days, and the Bible says he fasted, and afterwards he was hungry. And isn't it interesting that Satan come at you at your weakest point? Yeah. I mean the very weakest. Come on, say that. Because come on. some things are not your fault. It's a product of your experience. Yeah. Yeah. And God said, I can't yes. just set the couch. Yes. Some things you experience because some folk experience things in their puberty, Come on. in their childhood, yes. Yes. and their youth. Yes. Because Satan wanted to destroy your destiny. Yes. And so he came after some when they were five and six years yes. old, yes. and four and three and two. Yes. And in their puberty, in their teenagers, yes. he came after you to understand why you were being drawn. And you didn't understand what was happening to you. And you couldn't deal with it by yourself. But I tell you today, you got somebody that can pull you out. Yes. Things that occur in your life, things that are not your fault, things that happen to you, and every one will take it and destroy it. But God said, Not so. Not so. Go around the city. Under this camera, I pray the anointing of the Holy Spirit that will set It is not God's will for you to perish. That is not the will of God for 